Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jordan, if you do not know. Welcome to my channel. I... I'm 22 years old, I live in New York City, I work here, I work at the Food Network on the Snapchat team. Yeah, this, this is it, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a what I eat in a day video because I know you guys love these. We're here, we're back, we are making videos and we are eating today. So, the day I filmed this video was actually a snow day from work, which is unbelievable. So basically, I got to work from home, so I got to spend all day cooking, making yummy, delicious meals, and not eating like two-day-old grilled chicken in the office at my desk. For breakfast, I had my new favorite breakfast, which I'm actually gonna eat right after I film this video because it is so good, and it is oatmeal. I don't know why I was not like into oatmeal before, but I'm obsessed with it now and it's so great. So basically I used steel cut oats. They were Sarah's, thanks Sarah for letting me have some of your oatmeal. I cooked those with a little bit of almond milk and a little bit of water and then I actually put in frozen bananas into the cooking oatmeal. Um, this just sweetens it up. I would put normal bananas in, but I just didn't have, I only had frozen ones. Naturally sweetens the oatmeal without having to put in like brown sugar or honey and I don't know about you guys or if this is really, really weird. I don't like normal bananas. Like I can't eat bananas raw. I can only eat bananas when they're like dried or frozen or like in a smoothie or in oatmeal or something like that. But I can't eat like raw bananas on top of my oatmeal or like raw bananas on top of my acai bowl. Like I cannot eat normal bananas. So I mashed up the banana, put it in the oatmeal and it just naturally sweetens it and gives it a really yummy flavor. And on top of my oatmeal, I put half a chopped green apple with a little bit of cinnamon. And what else did I put on it? Cacao nibs, peanut butter. I think that's it, cacao nibs are so good, you guys. Definitely would recommend. And then if you want a little bit extra sweetness, you could put a little honey on top of this or like agave or whatever you want. I think that just the bananas is perfect. But yeah, that's my oatmeal. You could also put like almonds on top. I think I did put almonds on top. You could do whatever you want. It's delicious, it's oatmeal, it's good for you, and it looks really pretty. Day for lunch, I made something so delicious. It was so good, and I never get to make lunch like this because I'm always at the office or like on the go on the weekends. Usually I'll like meal prep, which you guys, I made a whole video about my meal prep. I will link it down below or like on the screen if you want to check that out. Today I got to make a fresh, delicious lunch, which I was so excited about. So basically I used this black bean rollatini, I think is what it's called, from Trader Joe's, and it's basically just black beans. They create, they make a black bean flour out of literally just black beans and make this pot. So it's like a healthy alternative. It's really, really, really good. So I basically just boiled that and then I also had some little frozen shrimp. So I had just had to defrost those in some boiling water. Once they were defrosted, I sauteed them in a pan with some garlic and oil and that was that. And then I used some organic tomato sauce. The ingredients are super simple. It's like olive oil, salt, pepper, garlic, tomato paste, tomatoes, basil. So like all super natural whole ingredients. So I found this tomato sauce. It was really, really good. I added that to the pasta, put the shrimp in, and it was like a really yummy seafood pasta thing. And it was really healthy and really delicious and super satisfying, especially for like a super cold snow day in New York City. And because I was cooking all day and, you know, was obviously exhausted from my horrible day working from home, which I'm just kidding, working from home is literally the best. You get to spend all day in your bed doing your work instead of at your desk. It's phenomenal. I decided to get some takeout, so me and Lauren that night just chilled and watched Friends. So I decided to get stir fry. I got rice noodles with like teriyaki sauce and a bunch of veggies and grilled chicken. Yeah, it was really yummy, so we just sat on the couch, watched Friends, ate our takeout. One thing that I didn't film, but I do every single night, is every night before I go to bed, I have a scoop of peanut butter about this big, straight from the jar into my mouth. It's pretty much like my dessert. I have it every night. I'm addicted to peanut butter. My favorite one is just the roasted peanuts and salt from Trader Joe's. Mm. Oh my God, it is so good. So yeah, that is it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little what I eat in a day video. If you want more of these, let me know in the comments below. Also follow me on Instagram because sometimes I post what I eat on Instagram. My Instagram is at Jordan Rebecca. What else? Let me know if you want to see like a what I eat in New York 
going out edition or like a one I eat in New York in the office edition. Let me know, I can do any of those things because I eat every day. So yeah, that's it, subscribe, follow me, like and comment and bye. That is it, love you guys and I will see you in the next video, bye.